<laughs> spinning up that inside rear. This is nuts. This is like if a roller coaster backed you up the hill. <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Tedward. Welcome to a very dusty ranch here in beautiful Montana, just outside of Big Sky. And today we have the all new 2024 GMC Sierra HD, the 2500 AT4X AEV edition. That means we've got the Multimatic DSSV dampers. It means we have a towing capacity of 18,400 pounds. That's because this is the AEV, and if it was the just the AT4X non-AEV, 18.5. So not much of a difference between the AEV and the non-AEV AT4X in terms of towing. So this is definitely going to get all that done for you. We've got a 6.6 liter Duramax diesel that makes 975 pound feet of torque and 470 horsepower. This thing is an absolute behemoth. It's a monster. Big old tailpipe for the diesel. And of course, 10 cameras, all the things that you've come to expect in AT4X editions now brought to you in the big boy 2500 heavy duty. We're on 35 inch tires. These are the Goodyear Wrangler terrains. And we are out here trying to test it out and see what it's like. We've got this monster quad cab. Look at the size of this rear door. We have this beautiful side step that comes down when the doors open. Plenty of room back here. All the typical storage that you're used to seeing in a Sierra and all that good stuff, which is really wonderful because to have such a luxurious vehicle that can also tow the race cars, the horses, whatever the heck you need to tow, this is gonna do the job. And now it's off-road capable in a way that Sierra has not been in the past. Because it's an AEV, we get the boron steel stamped under trays that are gonna protect this thing. You've got the front and rear steel bumpers. This is a big deal because when you have those steel bumpers, it allows you to take a lot more risk with what you're doing, especially if you have to make some sketchy turns. It's a big difference between touching a rock with a steel bumper and touching a rock with a plastic bumper cover because that bumper cover is gonna get disintegrated and this thing is gonna take the abuse. It's obviously noticeable how cool this thing looks because you've got this monster grill and then this cool like intake on the hood. You've got the lights on top of the cab as you do for vehicles of this size so it makes you look like a big dog but it's also incredibly luxurious and comfortable to drive so let's jump in and take it for a ride and get our first impressions of the new hd at4x aev edition the first thing we're going to do with this truck is test out the hill descent it's a 30 degree descent yeah please get the cameras it's a 30 degree descent i have hit the button it is blinking on me. And then how do I adjust the speed that I want it? You can go down or up. Off we go. Yeah, yeah, it's there it is. To set right one. Oh my God. This oh, is vertical, what dude. The... Oh man. Oh wow. There's some rocks and shale too. This is nuts. Guys, I don't know if this is like doing any justice here, but like this is, this is a vertical. This is a cliff. This is a cliff. Wow. And this hill descent, there's a human being at the Look bottom of this who is really trusting the hill descent capabilities of this HD. I am like, this is nuts. This is like if a roller coaster backed you up the hill <laughs> and I'm in a truck and this is like loose. Guys, this is insane. Oh my goodness. Are you even on the... I'm not touching anything. No, nothing. It's all hill descent. It's doing this. Whoa! Oh my. That guy is, tr like, so trusting of oh this my. truck's technology right now. This is outrageous. Ridiculous. I just set it to two. I doubled the speed. Oh, no, you reckless. <laughs> look, no. look behind you. I don't wanna. There's nothing. Ah. It's just the sky. Dude, like we have just gone down a cliff. Dude, look in the mirror. We just. I mean, we're I not out of the woods yet. Yeah, 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 true. <laughs> but there's less of a drop there. <laughs> I think 30 degrees was an understatement. Dude, oh my god, I thought he was joking. Dude, I'm like, say straight up, this is insane. Unreal. Tedward, 
We have survived. Thank you, Tom. Wow. That's crazy. My seat is vibrating because of that. Proximity towards oh everything. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's the, cr that's like actually one of the craziest things I've ever done in a vehicle. And I, and I hope that translates a little bit to wow, YouTube wow, wow. because like, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. I just came down that. It's a cliff. All right. That's pretty intense. And I'm impressed with this, but now we're going to go up to some other parts of this trail. Now, this is the thing. When you have a truck this long, it is kind of wild because you need to manage this size. And that means like not taking out rocks and stuff under turns. Now, I've already told you in the Canyon in Colorado videos, like that's my favorite size truck. This is obviously not. This is like outrageously long and it makes like navigating tight trails tricky. Now, this isn't that tight in certain respects. We don't have trees kind of all over us, but we are still very much in the, like the thick of cliffs and some dangerous scenarios here. I'm gonna close these windows just because it is so dusty in here and it's pretty rough. And let's get another splash of this. It's also doing our cameras, which is great. That's why it stays clean. Getting the seat vibrations because it's like, dude, what are you thinking? Now. My my strategy for this is just trying to hang on for dear life. No, um, hanging on to the left side of the truck so I don't trash right. that here side of the truck. And can you move your arm so I can see oh, the mirror? Sorry. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's always tricky. Like, you know, you're trying to like keep spatial awareness yet I have this hood out in front of me that is quite large now the the front cameras on this are really helpful because I, I you know I can't really see anything and he's definitely taking to heart hugging those junipers that is like look how tall that is like how high up that is from right here and I'm going to climb that and it's crazy because I'm going to do it from a dig that's why I'm waiting because I don't want to get stuck there oh my god up we go Hug the junipers, hug the junipers so we don't fall off that cliff. Oh my God. Like I can't see anything. I am relying basically entirely on this camera to not drive off this cliff. And I'm sorry, I don't care about the, the right side of this vehicle anymore because I don't want to fall off that cliff. We've got a lot of room now. Okay, cool. We're safe. We're safe. We've got it. We're coming up to a section where I think we're going to need the rear locker and I'm kind of excited to see the difference in capability between having that on and off. We only have a rear locker, no front locker in the HD, but let's see if we get stuck here when we get that right rear off the ground. All right, and as you can see, we're stuck. It's just clawing all the way at that. So I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna turn on the rear locker. That's on and see if that digs us out quick. Look at that, like butter. I always feel like, you know what? If I don't need the locker, then I'm not in cheat mode, but sometimes you just need that fail safe. And that can be the difference between you getting home and you calling some of your friends who are gonna laugh at you for needing to be winched out of a stupid situation that you got yourself into. Now, this is not the best test of like ride quality because this is like really soft, dusty stuff, but I am like kind of comfortable right now. This is a really nice place to be. And I feel like you could just mob these ranches in something like this. Oh, but we gotta be careful. We don't wanna understeer off of that. That could be treacherous, yikes. I do wish they had catchier names because like, I feel like, what do you have for Ford? The Raptor. What do you have from Dodge? TRX. Yeah. What do you have from GMC and Chevy? The GMC Sierra oh, 2500 HD 84X AEV edition. Yes! yes you got it! <laughs> one take one. It's the next morning. It's early in Bozeman, Montana. And now we're gonna get some street driving impressions and we're gonna leave the city. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, use this giant engine start stop button. 
our 6.6 liter Duramax diesel jumps to life. All right, we're gonna let this fella come through, do your thing, okay, cool. The first thing you notice is this incredibly imposing diesel sound. The Duramax sounds really good. <laughs> and let's see if we can get this wheel to go in a little bit more perfect, there we go. All right. This has a 10-speed Allison transmission and it responds pretty nicely. It feels robust. It shifts really smoothly. It's nice at low speeds. That's so relieving, honestly. And the steering. This is like a very approachable and drivable vehicle. It feels good. It feels like it belongs as a, as a, as a fun, kind of enjoyable toy day to day. What's surprising me the most is the steering feel in this. It's very approachable, it's really easy to drive. Sometimes you get into the big, big trucks, especially like the ones that are designed specifically for towing, they get really numb and they're hard to kind of operate because you've gotta like unwind them, you put so much lock into them and you actually don't really feel what's going on, you're just kind of pointing where you need to go. This has a really nice steering rack. It's still light and it's still not giving me all the granularity through the road or anything like that, I'm not crazy, but it is really easy to kind of get in and, and operate without having to adjust to it all that much. Let's see how quick it gets off the line. We've got a beautiful little view here and we'll just roll into it. You can see as it's getting off the line, I think it's doing two things. Number one, it's trying to temper 975 foot-pounds of torque to make sure that I don't just roast off the rear tires. And two, a little bit of turbo lag. So once that boost hits and it's available to use, it's going for it. You also notice that it shifts early, which is probably just because it's finding that peak torque band and that's gonna be in that mid-range, not necessarily way up top. So very lovely does not operate like the gas engine so don't anticipate that and i think that's charming because if you're gonna get the diesel you might as well get the full diesel experience let's try to not murder all these birds cool ah <laughs> he made it he lived now one complaint i have about the sierra is that I do like the infotainment screen, but I don't get that Canyon and Colorado screen like we do in those trucks. And I think it's weird that like the lower end vehicles, the entry level midsize truck gets kind of a, a more exciting display up front where I could put those maps right in front of me. Hello, GMC friend. She scoots. Now this being the AT4X version, oh, hello horses, that's great. Oh man, I like Montana, I gotta spend more time out here. What I like about the AT4X is that it's off-road capable. This is a, a proper off-roader, it's designed for that. And with the AEV package, of course we're getting even more, more. <laughs> you've got skid plates, you've got extra lift, you've got the wheels and tires, you've got the steel bumpers, which I actually really love. Maybe not so good for pedestrian safety, but I do appreciate having the steel bumpers because it means that I can kind of maneuver around some things without worrying about cracking open some, some plastic bumper cover, which can get very expensive. That's hundreds of dollars when that goes wrong. So to have the steel is great, especially in a truck this length. If you're gonna be on narrower trails, it gives you that opportunity to play around, to like, to potentially bump a rock, to, to approach something that you may or may not be able to get over and find out without dire consequences and, well, dire, expensive. The ride quality is luxurious. Even over that gravel, it was fine, but out here, yeah, it's a little stiff. DSSV dampers are not Baja Fox shocks like you're gonna find in the Ford Raptor or anything like that. So keep that in mind. This is an off-road truck. It's going to feel like an off-road truck. However, it absorbs everything really nicely and I still feel everything in the road, but not to an extent that it's uncomfortable. 
which I actually kind of like because it means that I can, you know, pitch the car in to a corner and it doesn't have like this immense amount of body roll to settle out this big soft damper that's designed to jump things. These brakes are really confidence inspiring. You've got to get into them a little bit. They definitely feel like truck brakes because the initial bite's nice and then you've got to like press, 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 press. But they, de they, they give you what you need. Let's see. Ooh, 392, baby. Uh, let's go this way for a second. <laughs> Spinning up that inside rear. Oh, Montana. Yeah. This place is great. For sale. Yes, they've got trucks and an LR3. Those are my kind of people. So I need a truck. I need an Overlander. This is not going to be your choice for like, oh, we're going to get an Overlander. No, like, of course it'll do it. It's overkill. I mean, this is your tow vehicle. But now your tow vehicle has off-road capability in a big way, in a way that's AT4X branded, in a way that's AEV stamped. It's great. And I think that's a really big step in this segment for them because this is just not something that you know GMC has done before and it's really exciting that this truck exists and man oh man am I a happy boy out here on these roads The fact that I'm this confident in a truck this big, kind of just carving some corners, making this happen, that's that says a lot about how confident and well designed this thing is for a driver. Let's see if we can do this three point turn without falling off a cliff. Great turning radius, oh my goodness. That was not expected. And you know what, let's just sit here for a quick second for this view because this is unreal. Look at that. Now you even have the ability to use your tow rig to go do some fun overlanding and you're good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive, and I'll see you in the next one. If I'm being really, really picky, this shifter, the column mounted shifter, blocks some of the view of the infotainment screen. So I actually can't, I have to like lean to see what's going on over here. And that's only really annoying for me right now because I've got the maps up and I'm going somewhere I don't know where I'm going, but some of my information is blocked by that handle.